G'day viewers, time for another AA session, Angry Alcohol, uh, better than the other AA because there's less than 12 steps in what I'm doing. And yes, that was incredibly disrespectful, I know. Ha <laughs> ha! So today, experiment time. This is all science, what we're doing now. We're going to find out what tastes better as a caramel drink. We've got some vodka, we've got some gin because we like the clear liquids uh, because they show the color up. And I'm also going to experiment with two sorts of caramel lollies. Uh, these ones, uh, which now this is not sponsored, but you can only get these in the coal supermarkets in Australia. They're salted caramel bananas. Australian will remember from their childhood, the banana lollies that don't taste like bananas. Well, these ones taste even less like banana because they're salted caramel flavored. And here's an old classic, the Jersey caramels. Now these aren't salted. These are just going to be a uh, sweet caramel. So we're going to try both of them with the vodka and the gin and see what is what in relation to, you know, taste and personal taste. And I'm also doing one more scientific experiment. When I've done these things before, I figured if I chopped them up into small pieces like this, they would actually dissolve quicker. And I don't even know if that's true, but today in the name of science, we'll do some whole and some chopped up and see what the result is. So in this handy little container, this holds about 200 mils, uh, so I'm not doing a lot. Put some whole Jersey caramels in there and we put some chopped up Jersey caramels in one of the same size. Now we're going to do the same deal with bananas. Put some whole bananas in that one. And we'll put some chopped up bananas in this one. Now we're gonna add the vodka, the Jersey caramel. and the chopped up Jersey caramel. Now we give these a little bit of a shake to mix them up and I'll check on them in a day or so and see how they're going with the dissolving and the blending, maybe shake them a bit more and then we'll come back and do a taste test. I realized as I was making these, I didn't have as many of these little containers as I thought. Plus I want to keep some of the gin for the next experiment. You'll have to stay tuned to find out what that is. And so I'm gonna put a little bit of gin, just one thing of Jersey caramel and one of the bananas. Our drinks have been set aside for a couple of days. I've learned a couple of things. They look really different. Uh, this is the gin, this is the Jersey caramel. You can see it's quite milky, particularly when I shake it up. And this is the salted caramel banana, which is a lot clearer and tends to separate out. And I did also learn that chopping the lollies up does make a difference. A small difference maybe, but there was more dissolving. I think there's still a little bit of the Jersey caramels left in both the gin and the vodka, but I'm gonna use that in the bananas, which don't really dissolve in my experience. I'm gonna use that for something else, so wait and see what that is. Filtering is pretty straightforward. Use a coffee filter uh, and just pour it through. And it's probably going to take a little while for all of this to filter through. So we'll come back to it when it's done. Now we're back from the uh, filtering stage. And I tell you what, those Jersey caramels, really hard to filter. This is all done in the name of science, by the way. It's not like I'm an alcoholic. And science has discovered Jersey caramels, lots of residue. So if you want a clear drink, this is the one with the bananas. You can see how clear it is. Uh, the one with the Jersey caramel, a bit muddy. I might even make one more attempt to run this through filter paper, but it was there was so much sludge, it just did not want to go through filter paper. So that's something we learned today. Jersey caramels leave a lot of residue. Let's do a little taste test. I do a little taste of each of them straight. And if you've ever had the lollies that this is made of, it really tastes like them. I have had that before, it's quite nice. Now I've never tasted it with Jersey caramel, so let's try that. That is also not bad. I think I prefer this one, this is not bad. Let's try them on the rocks with a shot of soda. Now the salted caramel bananas don't carry through a lot of color when you dilute them, but flavor wise, 
Mm. I really like that as a drink, I have to admit. You can see the Jersey Caramel one, uh, it makes for a cloudy drink. So it looks like traditional lemonade in that color. Oh, that definitely tastes better with some soda on the rocks. Uh, the banana one, I'd take either way, but this one tastes better with a bit of soda on the rocks. Oh, and incidentally, the ex almost exactly the same results with the gin. The Jersey Caramels uh, left a lot of residue and the bananas made a much clearer drink. I'm gonna make Mrs. Angry a gin and tonic with that later. That's what she favors. Until then, cheers.